In this question, we must determine whether the statements provide enough information about x and y to find their greatest common divisor. Now before we examine each statement, let's let k equal the greatest common divisor of x and y. So if k is a divisor of x, then x can be written as k times some positive integer p. Similarly, if k is a divisor of y, then y can be written as k times some positive integer q. Okay, now let's examine our statements. Statement 1 tells us that 2x plus y equals 73. Since we can write x and y in terms of k, let's replace x and y with their equivalent values. From here, we can factor out a k from the left-hand side to see that k times 2p plus q is equal to 73. Now, since p and q are both integers, we know that 2p plus q must be an integer. And if k times some integer equals 73, then it must be the case that k is a divisor of 73. Since 73 is a prime number, its only divisors are 1 and 73, which means k must equal either 1 or 73. Now, if k equals 73, we have a problem. If k equals 73, then 2p plus q must equal 1. However, since p and q are both positive integers, it is impossible for 2p plus q to equal 1. So k cannot equal 73. However, it is possible for k to equal 1, which means k must equal 1, which means statement 1 is sufficient. Now on to statement 2. We can use similar logic here to show that statement 2 is sufficient. First, we will replace x and y with kp and kq. Then, when we factor out k on the left-hand side, we can see that k times some integer must equal 1. If this is true, then k must be a divisor of 1, and if k is a divisor of 1, then k must equal 1. So statement 2 is sufficient, which means our answer here is D.